The Language of Deceit Notes and Extracts Endless Meaningless Nameless and faceless. Modern school tests are little more than an attempt to command and control a complete element of society that, in the worst cases, has the effect of removing all free will from the individual. Not to even get started on the effects on creativity, motivation, and self-determination. Is it not simply amazing how much of what we automatically consider to be an inevitable process on our journey through life has very little real positive effect on our actual quality of life. Long form written tests, which require more complex cognitive processes and once held some value, have long since been replaced in most areas with a multiple guess scenario. The student may know nothing and yet still pass. What does that teach the next generation? Teaching itself is to learning as speaking is to listening. There is a symbiotic relationship between the two and they can work in harmony, but yet they may also disconnect and have very little in common, as is the case in most systems of modern testing. Learning, which is actually a natural process, is not a process which can be forced, as that will only lead to the application of resistance in return. Children are not horses to be broken but they are prototype remodelings of ourselves, flaws and all, built from elements guarded and discarded. They are to be loved and nurtured in as many ways as possible, in a caring and yet carefree environment. There is still a fundamental principle in society that schools could not exist without testing. And that itself proves the one or unidimensional perspective that we have overlaid into the foundations of our modern education systems. It is a focus which is out of date irrelevant and harmful to present and future generations. True education is not really that complicated as it begins and ends with the universal language of love and is elevated with wisdom, not intelligence. As with those long forgotten first days of mass education, where students were marched military style by soldiers at gunpoint from their home to the schoolhouse. And yes, that did happen. Not only have we lost the very means of true reason in education, but we have replaced a natural method with a prescribed madness that does not and is never going to work, at least in its present form. 
and ultimately for the majority of tired teachers, we have misguidedly turned a once noble profession into a relentless daily lost cause of catch-up and disciplining. It is far from beyond time to stop, rethink and move on rather than rebrand under some new Orwellian phraseology. Any time the destination becomes more important than the process, we are in a race to the bottom. Enough is already more than enough. Let's not perpetuate the tragedy of history and make the same mistakes as our forefathers by placing a blind belief in a system that has consistently let down the faithful. Let's make a wiser choice for future generations. Remembering, of course, that an error does not become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. If a student, as a result of their own process of thinking, freely wishes to take a test, then of course, in due course, let them. Otherwise, understanding how and why you choose your friends, how you love and are loved, and how you live your life are the only tests that you really need to pass. Not everything that counts can be counted, and not everything that can be counted counts. Quote Albert Einstein. The language of deceit, notes and extracts.